Da -da 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 Show World. Welcome to Show World Gamers. Josh here, and today we're jumping over to Florida to Universal Orlando to check out the upcoming Super Nintendo World Land coming to the all new Epic Universe theme park scheduled to open within the next 15 months. Now, looking at the latest construction shots of the land, it is really coming together, but it still looks like they have a lot of work left to do before it's ready for opening. From what Universal has stated, the park is on schedule and will open in summer 2025. I have also heard reports that most of the rides are either completed or close to completion, so the facades and outdoor elements should start taking shape rather quickly. But we now have a new Epic Universe Preview Center opening up in Orlando's Universal City Walk that is selling merch for the new theme park and lands. The Super Nintendo World merch is pretty standard as to what we have seen in Universal Studios Hollywood, and unfortunately we have yet to see any merchandise themed to the new Donkey Kong Country area. There are some Super Nintendo World hats, shirts, as well as hoodies with the Universal Orlando branding, but other than that it's pretty much the same Super Mario items that are available in Hollywood. But the absolute coolest part of this new Epic Universe Preview Center is definitely the huge, super accurate to scale model of the whole theme park. Even the giant hotel in the background can be seen on this model. The thing is huge and it's our best look yet at what we can expect from the biggest Super Nintendo World theme park land to date. You can see the multiple levels as this version of the Mushroom Kingdom will be much more layered than the version at Universal Studios Hollywood. And in addition to the Mario Kart ride, this version will also have the Yoshi ride, which you can see winding through the land in the model. I have also heard that there will be at least one additional interactive game to play in this version of the land also. Now, we also got our best look yet at what we can expect from the brand new Donkey Kong Country area, which appears to be much larger than I initially thought. When you compare it to the Mushroom Kingdom area, although this area will not be as layered as it will mostly be just one level, the footprint is pretty comparable. So this land's gonna be much bigger than I think what anybody expected. We can see the Donkey Kong Minecart Coaster, which will be the sole ride for this area, although there will be some interactive games like they have in the Super Mario Bros. area. Now this huge model, it just looks really cool, and it really shows off the impressive scope of this new theme park. There is also an app you can download that allows some really cool AR additions to the model when you point your phone at it. How cool is that? Now the theme park as a whole is, well, it's just looking like a lot of fun and I can't wait to experience it in person for myself. And not just the Super Nintendo World Land, the Wizarding World's all new Ministry of Magic area, it just looks amazing. And the How to Train Your Dragon area is sure to be a hit with multiple rides in the land and the kids are gonna have a blast in this area. And I'm glad there is the Dark Universe area, which will bring those classic Universal monsters to life for generations to come. Not to mention some really cool coasters they're gonna have. This park's gonna have a little bit of everything and it just looks like it's gonna be a blast when it does open. Now, hopefully the construction can keep pace and the park can open in 2025 as planned. But I wanna thank you guys for joining us once again as we check in on the latest Super Nintendo World news. If you're new, hit that subscribe button and let me know any thoughts you have in the comments. Shoge World, out.